Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. For a few days now, I had planned on recording a video discussing this topic, but as with everything, it seemed like something else always came up. And as it had already received widespread coverage, I didn't see an urgent need to get the word out. That said, I do feel the desire to discuss this as some people might still not be aware of what has been going on. On the 25th of this month, Epic Games, the developers of Fortnite and the Unreal Engine released a statement where they announced that Paragon, the third-person action-adventure MOBA, is going to be closing down on April 26th. In that announcement, they said the following. It's with heavy hearts we've decided to close down Paragon. We truly appreciate everything you've put into Paragon. We received many passionate ideas for where to take the game. The outpouring of thoughtful suggestions is another testament to this incredible community. After careful consideration and many difficult internal debates, we feel there isn't a clear path for us to grow Paragon into a MOBA that retains enough players to be sustainable. We didn't execute well enough to deliver on the promises of Paragon. We have failed you despite the team's incredibly hard work and we're sorry. To try to make this right, Epic is offering a full refund to every Paragon player for every purchase on any platform. This refund will come directly from Epic rather than your platform provider. To request your free fund, follow these steps. If you're not playing on PC, link your Epic account. Create one if necessary. If you play on PC or have already linked your Epic account, you can request your refund here. We'll continue operating Paragon servers until April 26, 2018, as the player population continues to decrease, matchmaking times and quality will further degrade. Thank you for joining us on this journey and for your dedication to Paragon. And while I applaud Epic Games and their desire for fairness and their offer to refund their customers, it got me a little curious as to actually why all of this happened to begin with. So let's go back in time a little. Uh, not to the far distant past, but curiously enough, just a mere 12 days ago is all the further we need to go to find our answer where on the Paragon forums we learned that the reason for Paragon's apparent failure was due to a combination of a lack of player retention and a lack of developer resources as Epic Games had shifted much of the Paragon staff over to the development of their latest cash cow, Fortnite Battle Royale. In that statement, the Epic Games team still seemed hopeful that they would be able to keep the game going, but it would seem that they had simply decided to give up. That statement reads, Going from Legacy to Monolith to a new card system and all of the changes in between, our efforts have always been focused on growing the game. While each of these incarnations has been beloved by a core community, none has been large enough to achieve mainstream success. This, combined with the humbling success of Fortnite, has caused us to question if we have a good path to grow Paragon and make it thrive. Work on Paragon continues. Version 0.45 ships this week with both hero and card balance as well as stability improvements. However, progress has been slower lately for two reasons. First, the team's time is split between immediate improvements and longer-term efforts, so there's less visible progress. Second, a large number of Paragon's team members jumped onto Fortnite to help sustain the game as it has grown far larger than anything in Epic's past. Here inside Epic, we're talking about the future of Paragon in pretty much the same terms as you're talking about it. The core challenge is that, of new players who try Paragon, only a small number continue to play regularly after a month. Though Paragon has evolved, no iteration has yet achieved that magical combination of ingredients that make for a sustainable game. As an aside, the problem isn't marketing or how to make money with Paragon. We have good ideas that would solve those problems if we can find a way to make Paragon grow. Over the next few weeks, we'll be figuring out if and how we can evolve Paragon to achieve growth and success and try something internally. In the meantime, Paragon's release cadence will be slower. We welcome your thoughts on what we should do. Like you, the team is deeply passionate about Paragon. Like you, we would love to find a path that works. And like the community at large, we are not all in agreement on what could place Paragon on a fundamentally better path for all. And as we now know, that fundamentally better path for all within Paragon would seem to be Fortnite. And honestly, it's a shame. It really is. I picked the game up last night so I could at least get a basic feel for the core mechanics and to see if it was even worth fighting for. And the end results of what I saw was, well, it was confusing to say the least. The game itself seems to suffer from an identity crisis on several different levels. It is, as I said, a third-person action-adventure MOBA, which is not a bad concept. 
In fact, I rather like those sort of games in general, although I'm more of a fan of the slightly more strategic aspects of a traditional MOBA, but these games definitely have their place within the genre and have the potential to be excellent games. But take the concept of the base game and mix it with a collectible card game that has a very easy potential to become pay to win at the drop of a hat, and then introduce loot box gambling mechanics and an in-game premium currency on top of it, and the disparate mechanics within the game have seemingly spiraled out of control. It would seem that Epic Games themselves had no idea which direction they wanted to take the game up to this point, and I can clearly see how the game has suffered because of it. This is actually a fairly common issue with competitive games that try to include too many mechanics at once, especially if a game is interested in generating an esports system. It would seem that in Epic Games' mad dash to get into the newest fad in gaming, the battle royale genre, that Paragon has clearly suffered for it, and in spite of Epic Games' assertions that they wanted to make Paragon work for them, they are clearly allowing the lure of the latest fad in gaming to dictate their decisions more than anything else. And some Paragon fans, still seeing the great potential that the game has, are actively trying to save it. On the Paragon subreddit, Redditor Kleck posted a plea to Epic Games that has become the most upvoted post on the subreddit at a little over 7,000 votes at the time this video was recorded. And within that post, I have seen a great many people that really enjoy Paragon and in some cases have sunk hundreds of hours into the game. That said, unfortunately, I feel that their pleas will fall on deaf ears, as Epic Games is most likely focused on the 2 million plus Fortnite Battle Royale players with laser precision. But as always, please do let me know what you think down in the comments below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time. If you like what I do on this channel and would like to see the channel go full time, consider donating in on Patreon or PayPal as well as hitting that subscribe button and following me on social media. Links to everything are in the description down below.